Okay, what we have here is 13.56 megs uh, coming out of yeah, bad lighting here. The BK function generator 4040B. This is what the uh, waveform looks like coming out of the RF amplifier. We built a one tube EL84 amp. Uh, this is the preamp section. Uh, we're going to put another tube uh, amplified from here. Powering it up with a power supply. This is an isolation transformer. Powering up our Variac. Uh, that's the AC voltage going into it. And then this is the tube. EL84. Running red hot. We have a uh, <clears throat> Radio Shack uh, prototyping board here. This is the voltage 5.35 volts DC on the uh, plate circuit. We have a uh, a pot right there. Now this is based on a lot of different uh, drawings. This is actually a you know, if we can find anything here. The Elco 90 watt uh, continuous wave transmitter. It's the model 720. You can find this PDF file. This is actually a build, a kit build. This is the uh, schematic. What we have listed is the 6CL6. We actually have some of these on order so we get the exact one. Uh, according to the spec sheet, they're pretty close, but this was a uh, tube they use in television sets. It says it's good for at least 3 me uh, megahertz. Anyhow, this is where the crystal goes. You can run a crystal or external variable frequency oscillator in here. You just turn the uh, switch. We don't have this on here. We don't have this Culp, uh, culpits. Uh, that's the uh, circuit for the for crystal. So we turn this on a bypass. So we basically are running variable frequency in. Uh, we run a capacitor through here. Also, we impedance match. It shows 100k. We have some less than that. Uh, yeah, a lot of this was also based. This is the uh, uh, Sylvania uh, tube catalog here, Sylvania radial. This was about 1957. You can find this also a PDF file. It's about 360 some pages. We have this is figure one, and I forget what it was, but figure one on the uh, page 24 for the uh, it's the cathode uh, biasing resistor we also bypass it here we also have a resistor and a bypass on actually I take that back this is the uh, screen we actually have the uh, this is what we have on that one let's see if we can get that straight here we've jumped over to this is the second stage they had a 50k on the screen and that went right up to power supply also went down to the ground so that's what we have controlling the screen on the first section this section here is not even built so this is just to try to get together see what kind of uh, waveforms we could get out of this thing we've run square waves uh, this is a sine wave here and let me see if we can run this it's a triangle there's a square wave. Doesn't look too good. Yeah, it's a lot to do with the function generator. I've had better looking waveforms on... Uh, I've run three different function generators through here. Pulse generator also. We ran a uh, BK 10 meg pulse generator uh, yesterday. Ran... Uh, this is the old Hewlett Packard 3310A, we run that through here also. So, this waveform, yes, yeah, so if we can get back to where we were. There we go. Really depends on, let's say, the 
function generator. But it's been a, it's a fairly clean waveform. So this is part of the 13. Oh, actually, what happened was we lost frequency change when we uh, changed the waveforms up there. It was on 13.56. So, so there you have it.